Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray you are doing well today. It is Wednesday, May 31st. Can you believe May is already over? Wow. It, it has been a whirlwind of a month for me um, ever since I decided that May would be the month that I launched my new Be Still, the Blessed Method Journal and the Blessings Kit. This month has just flown by. I had so much I had to get done um, in order to get everything launched. Good morning, Melinda. Um, and it just was a lot of work. But wow, was it worth it? I am so excited. I am so excited. Things have been going amazingly well. And um, I just am so excited. Um, I wanted to ask a favor, and I'm going to make a post shortly about it. If you are, if you have purchased your, good morning, Joe. If you have already purchased your journal and your blessings bag, if you could give me a review on my um website blessed be boutique for that items um i would greatly appreciate it i probably will give you a little reward as well um i cannot ask you to give me five star or whatever all i ask is for you to give me your honest uh, opinion your honest um you know tell me what you think of it and post that in my face or excuse me on the product description so that others can see what it's like i would greatly appreciate that so i'll put a post up in a little bit i'll even give you a link of where you can do that from and um yes that would be awesome all right so today we are finishing up bearing fruit tomorrow june 1st we are going to be starting um all about loving your neighbor this is a toughie we may think we love our neighbors but do we it's going to be a month full of some stretching for some of us um growing for some of us i really think it's going to be a great topic for us to use all month long and if by the end of it you don't get tired of me hearing me say every single day that we're supposed to love your neighbor um yeah i haven't said it enough if you're not tired by the end of the end of the month all right let's go ahead and get started um i use what i call the bless method which is a method that i came up with when i realized i was following the same format every single day when I was doing my devotionals here with you. So I decided to come up with this acronym and I call it BLESS, B-L-E-S-S. -S. The B is for the Bible verse, the scripture that we give you. The L is for listening for God's word and asking for His, um, for him to, to list, help us, to guide us on what we should do and what we should learn. The E is for exploring the history and the meaning, who wrote it, when, to what audience. The S, the first S is for studying the keywords and the phrases. The second S is for summarizing and sharing that. All right. So today's scripture verse is Galatians 6, verses 7 through 8. And it says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. Will you pray with me, please? Heavenly Father, help me to open my ears to your truth today and to better understand the profound principle of sowing and reaping and guide me, Lord, to sow seeds that honor and please you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, so good morning, Linda. So the, um, excuse me a second. The Apostle Paul wrote this book of Galatians, and it was addressing the issue of legalism and the importance of faith in Christ. And in this passage, Paul is warning against deception and emphasizing the principle of sowing and re reaping. Goodness, my throat this morning. Sorry about that. Um, so he's highlighting what the consequences are of our choices, whether they are driven by flesh or spirit. So this passage reminds us that our actions have consequences. We can't deceive or mock God because he sees us and he knows all things. We will know, he will know that what we do, he can see everything that we do. If we invest in pleasing our flesh, um, in pursuing selfish desires, we will ultimately reap destruction. 
But if we sow seeds of righteousness, seeking to please God and live in obedience to him, we will reap a harvest of eternal life, right? So the key words are deceived and mocked, which is warning against underestimating the principle of sowing and reaping and reminding us that God cannot be fooled. Reap what you sow. That's talking about our actions have consequences and we will experience the results of our choices. Pleasing their flesh is talking about pursuing selfish desires. Destruction is talking about the negative income outcome, excuse me, of sowing to please the flesh. Um, and what does it mean to please the spirit? It means describes a life that's directed by the Holy Spirit. And eternal life is the ultimate reward and the harvest that comes from that, right? So let's talk a little bit about sowing and reaping. You know, life is like a, a huge field where we have the opportunity to sow seeds every single day. And the Apostle Paul is reminding us of an essential principle. We will reap what we sow. And it's so easy to be deceived in this world, to think that our choices don't matter, or we will mock God by indulging in all kinds of selfish desires without any consequences. But here's the truth. God can't be fooled. <laughs> he sees our actions. He knows our hearts. So the seeds that we sow today will bear fruit in the future, right? We've talked about that all month long. So what do we mean by selfish desires today? Well, when we prioritize material things and wealth above everything else, then we are abusing things. We um, so often get caught up in, in abusing food. <laughs> I do. Um, alcohol, drugs. Um, we also, our desires revolve around gaining power and control or manipulating others for personal gain or seeking recognition or fame, or we're constantly looking for validation from the world instead of God. So when we choose to please our flesh, giving into all those desires and pursuing those worldly pleasures, we shouldn't be surprised when we reap destruction. But there's hope, right? We have a better option. We can choose to sow seeds the Spirit. So when we align our lives with the Spirit of God, when we seek to honor Him in all we do, we are sowing seeds of righteousness and love and kindness and obedience. We're investing in things that have eternal value. And guess what? The harvest we reap from such seeds is nothing short of of extraordinary. We will reap eternal life, guys. So in today's world where there's instant gratification, right? Self-centeredness often are so prevailing. It's crucial to remember this truth. Let's be intentional about the seeds that we're sowing. Let's choose the spirit over the flesh, knowing that our decisions matter and they have far-reaching consequences. So I'm encouraging you to take a minute and evaluate the seeds that you've been sowing in your life. Are they driven by the flesh or by the spirit? Are they leading to destruction or eternal life? Please, I'm asking you to make a conscious effort to sow seeds that please the spirit, knowing that God is faithful to bring about a bountiful harvest. Remember, guys, you cannot fool God. But you can sow seeds to please him and experience that joy and that fulfillment of a life that's aligned with his will. So let's be intentional today. Sow good seeds and trust God to bring about a beautiful harvest in our lives. Amen? Amen. All right. So the Bible cross references for today are Proverbs 22, 8, Job 4, 8. Um, and 2 Corinthians 9, 6, all right? So Corinthians 9, 6 says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. So sow those seeds, guys, big and strong, right? <laughs> all right, thank you so much for joining me. Let's all enjoy our last day of May, and we will see you here tomorrow morning on June 1st. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.